In the free 3D program Blender, you can bring in reference images to help you model more accurately. Placing these images in the front views, the side views, and you can make your meshes according to where they're located in the pictures that you bring in. Well, the problem with these reference images is that if you ever move the camera in, in these perspectives, you lose the reference image. It's just not there. There is a way that you can actually bring in images uh, that, and form them as kind of meshes in themselves, use them as reference, so that if you do move the camera, it does not lose the reference image. A lot of people would look at this and say, well, why don't you just uh, place on the plane a picture uh, with a transparent background, like a PNG file or something like that, and use that. Well, you can do that, but uh, the thing with this is that it's useful in other ways besides using it as a reference image. Uh, you can use them as pre-designed logos. I just like using them as reference images when I, I do the modeling. So I'm going to show you how that's done. All right, well, let's get started here. And what I did is I got a picture of the back of my vehicle right in front of my uh, my home. Then I went to the park and I got a, a shot of like the driver's side and the front. and the passenger side. Now it's the passenger side that we're going to be using today to, uh, to illustrate this example I'm using. All right, so what I do is I uh, resize the uh, quick time window there. I press shift, print screen to get it inside the clipboard. Then I open up GIMP. And I'll have the link in the bar below. Open up GIMP. We'll go into Edit Paste. Place the pickup on there. And then I am going to blow that up just a little bit. And I'm going to grab my lasso tool. And start to go around the pickup. Now just ignore that line that's by the uh, door of the pickup there. It has something to do with my screen capture software and doing things through a, uh, a capturing things to the clipboard. I don't know what went on with that, but uh, with your images, it shouldn't show up that way. Speeding things along here, I'll just get to the right about where we're completing our round uh, here with that lasso tool. We'll make that pickup a, a selection of its own. Looks good. We're going to copy that. Okay, now we're going to do a new image and uh, edit, paste. Have just a cut out of the pickup and then we're going to go down to auto crop image so that uh, the borders are correct size for the image. as pickup passenger. Now in saving images in GIMP, it's best to go down to the select file type by extension. Try to find your uh, the file type you want to save it in. Select the PNG image, you'll automatically place that extension on the file that we're trying to save if you don't have it there already. So back into GIMP, We'll open that file, and there we have our pickup. All right, so the next step here is we're going to go up and choose the magic wand tool. We're going to select one, then press shift and the left mouse button and select the rest of them. The white spots there. And because we want the pickup and not the white spots, we can go select, invert.
And then in your pass tool there, go ahead and click that red dot there. And basically that makes the selection into a path. And with that path we can now export with export path, right clicking that. And we'll say pick up passenger uh, dot SVG. Uh, it might not say, but with the SVG file extension, although it will work as an SVG. But say with the SVG, open up Blender, go into File, Import, and down this list there, you'll see that we have uh, Paz SVG, GIMP 2.0. Find the path in the uh, file directory there. Import GIMP 2.0 and just press OK. And there we have our image based on the path. Now this is still a path, so just keep that in mind. This is not a mesh that we can extrude or anything like that. Something that you'll see comes in handy like doing logos and stuff. We're going to get rid of some of these windows right now because I just want to uh, be free of the windows. We're going to split it later for something else. But just to move all the stuff out of the way so we can do a little bit of work with this path that we just made. Easy stuff though. Not too bad. Okay, so now we got the, the path there. Now you see that uh, the green and the red arrow there? That's your origin. And we want that origin to be right in the middle of that, uh, that pickup plate. The easiest way of doing this is to take the cursor, the 3D cursor there, make it to the selection and put it right on that origin. Then put that 3D selection back on the pickup, keeps it at that location, basically. And then go to center cursor and boom, now our origins right on the pickup so that now we can rotate it, scale it, grab it. Then we hit Alt C and that will convert it to mesh. Now we got a mesh. We can extrude it. We can do anything that we need with it. All right. Let's make two windows here now. Because we're going to be doing some texturing. We want the UV image editor. Awesome. Um, let's open up the the file that we're going to be using the image. Pick a passenger, PNG. Beautiful. And then let's go back to our pick a pig. Uh, we'll want to get into edit mode. Then pressing the B key on the keyboard, we'll border select. And then we'll press the U button. But UV calculation, go down to project from view, bounds. And they got your area there that we're projecting. You can scale that as needed. You can grab it, do whatever. Projection is really fun with UV, actually. And then uh, go into textured, and then we'll need to go into object mode, and it's textured. So now we can use that cutout as a reference point when doing our model work. So basically, this is after I have placed all four sides into it. And now I can you know, move it around and you know, see where the model is. Uh, now one thing you notice on this is that it doesn't get the back sides of that. Please leave in the comments below what I did wrong there. <laughs> 